My name is Brittany Crow, and I'm going to be talking about Marjorie Priceman. Marjorie Priceman was born on January 8, 1958 in Long Island, New York. Priceman earned her degree in illustration from the Rhode Island School of Design. Priceman published her first book, Friend or Frog, in 1989, thanks to the mentoring received from a former professor. Priceman's first book earned a spot in Red Book's Top 10 Picture Books of the Year in 1989. I'd be pretty excited if my first book got um, a spot on Red Books, Top 10 Picture Books. That's pretty awesome. In 1996, Priceman earned the Caldecott Medal for Zen 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 a Violin. In 2006, she won another Caldecott Medal for the book Hot Air, which was actually both illustrated as well as written by Priceman. Um, Priceman has illustrated more than 30 children's books. Um, two of these books have received the Caldecott Honor, which is the runner-up for the uh, Caldecott Award. And in 1999, uh, Priceman received the New York Times Best Illustrated Children's Book for Emmeline at the Circus. And the book that I want to share with you today is called Froggy Went a Courtin'. Um, Priceman's illustrations are done one of two ways, with watercolors um, or with gouache painting. Gouache painting involves adding a binding agent to the pigment, which makes the paint have a more vibrant um, tone to it, and it also causes the paint to be mo more opaque. Um, Priceman also uses um, cut paper in this particular um, piece, which you will see throughout the story. Um, they're very crisp lines here, which you can see um, around the frog's face here. Um, and you'll see that throughout the book um, when I show you the pictures. Um, but you can also see that the colors are just very bright and vibrant, um, and that's due to the binding agent being added to the pigment. Some of my favorite pictures in here, um, I really enjoy the um, taxi cab. I think it's really great that um, Marjorie took this story and kind of made it her own and included elements um, of living in the big city, um, which riding in a taxi cab is definitely one of those things I don't know that I've ever um, living in Evansville ever ridden in a taxi cab. I have in bigger cities, but and that's typically something that's done in bigger cities. This is my favorite picture in the whole book. I really like the lights, how she did that. That's just really cool. And the skyscraper buildings, I like the colors that are used here. There's the frog and the mouse. Um, and here again is another element of the the New York thing, and I think that's really cool that she incorporated those things into the story um, as well as into the illustrations. And you can see here, if you look closely, um, that this is the cut paper here. So um, certain parts of this are cut paper, and then she paints on that, so there's layers um, to the work, which is really neat. And again, here the cake you can see um, is paper that she's painted on top of and placed, you know, onto this landscape back here. The cars. And then my favorite, I think, is coming up soon. Here's the frog and the mouse. And again, here's the cut paper and the flowers painted on the mouse. cat. <laughs> and my favorite is this little guy up here. I really like this little firefly here. Um, it still has the softness, you know, um, with watercolors you typically get a softness and so much of this is, you know, really sh crisp lines and I just think that this little guy right here is really cool. I really like that it's still really bright um, but also just has a softness to it and I just really like him. I think he's cute. So, Here's that. And that's the end. So thank you.